What do we have here? Pretty cool looking Kaiser, huh? I love this one. I did uh, I did this as a uh, like a modification for uh, a guy. And then I loved it so much, I actually talked him into letting me keep it and traded him some other stuff for it. So, uh, it's mine now. And then, uh, the day after I got it, I dropped it. Dropped it on the concrete, trying to flip with it. Dinged up that corner right there. So, we'll touch that up with some sandpaper. Um, and then, after that, I was walking through the house and caught the damn pocket clip on the edge of the couch and it bent way the hell out and threw it out of my pocket again hit the floor it didn't do anything that time that i could see um so we got a bent pocket clip how do we fix it you can't just bend it back it doesn't work so we're gonna th figure out a couple of ways you can do this so one way that i've done before is get something under here uh, something flat to where you're pressing up a little bit on this part, and then when you press down on this, it actually bends it back. So we could try that. Let's see, I got a little pry bar here. Let's see if that works. I'm not sure if it's going to. This way is a little dangerous to you, putting a lot of stress on those little screws that are holding it in. And if you were to pull them out of there, uh, once those, well, it might strip the screws, but it might also strip the holes that are in that uh, liner inside there. And if it strips the holes in the liner, you're kind of uh, screwed, but don't bump. But this might work. It, it would be best if I could have something exactly the right size to fit in there to where it's pressing down on the handle and you know also pressing up on this at the same time, like the perfect size thing. Let me look and see if I can find that. All right, so I found this screwdriver. It's fit nice and smooth, so hopefully it won't mar up the surface. And what I'm going to do is slide it up under here and get it up on top of the, at least the first screw. Okay. Okay, so now it's pretty much where you want it to be, right about where, you know, where the metal is kind of thin, where it's going to, where it's going to bend and come back down. So the point of this is to keep it from bending like a spring right here and bending like it actually needs to bend somewhere in here. Okay, so now I'm just gonna press straight down on it and not way over here, because it'll just spring now. I want it to bend right there, so I'm gonna press down right near here. Hopefully I won't hear anything make a snap noise like those screws stripping out. Well, boy, that didn't bend much. Let's see if it did anything. Pull it straight out. Okay. That helped a little bit, yeah. It's 75% mm, of the way back. Okay, so I think we can probably do that again. Now, you know what? Let's take it apart and do it the other way too. Okay, so then you'll see, you know, there's kind of two ways to do it. All right, so we'll just fast forward through taking it apart. So you put your screws somewhere where you won't lose them, okay? Now, basically, we need to compress it right here. So, if you could put it in a vise and be real careful not to overdo it, you could do it that way. Um, you could use, and a lot of people don't have a vise. That's okay. You could use something like um, vise grips. Okay. It's going to scratch it up, though. Okay. So, you know, you don't care if it scratches up this bottom part, right? Who cares about that? That's going to be hidden. You don't want to scratch up the top part. So what you want to do is a piece of cardboard, something like cardstock. Okay, so I folded it over a couple times, give it a little strength, and that'll keep that uh, tip of the uh, pliers from falling down to that hole too much too, if they decide to or want it to. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to open this guy up and size it to a little bit smaller than that part is now. Okay, because that's how you make it squeeze. You have to make it a little bit smaller. Okay, then I'm going to put it on here. And I'm going to watch it very carefully as I start to squeeze. Make sure it's centered so it's not pushing on one side or the other. And then I'm going to give it a little squeeze. Then I'm going to move back a little bit and do it a little further back.
and I can kind of look at it, look straight down and see, is this lined up with below the edge of that or is it kind of, you know, because this part should be below where this is to be a good spring, right? So we're going to go a little bit more. Okay, let's check that. Close. I don't think it's quite enough. Let's check it and see. We can just put it on here and hold it flat and see. Boy, it looks like it might work. That might have been enough. Let's put the screws in and check it real quick. We'll do that and sped up so you don't have to listen to it or, or uh, watch it. So, looks like not quite there. Damn it, real close though. Oh wait, hold on. Okay. I think, boy that's, it just needs a touch more I think. But man, it was real close. Okay, we're going to bend it to where the damn thing almost touches here. Because it springs back, you know, so you might think you're bending it too far, but you're probably not. But you don't want to overdo it, that's for sure. So I think that looks about right. This thing is torn up on the tip. You know how you can fix these if the tip is kind of torn up? You just put it on a sander or you could put it on sandpaper on a surface and rub it back and forth until that until that torn up area is taken down to where it's still good below it. Let me see if I can do it real quick. It was slipping. Oh yeah, well, okay, that's better for sure. All right, so did that fix it? It could be a little stronger, but I'm gonna let it go right there. I think that is good enough. Let's try it in the pocket and see. Too much crap in my pocket. Yeah, it's good enough. It's not the strongest, but it'll work. Now, the other thing I was gonna do was actually reshape it a little bit um, see those lines on there I was thinking about making it that shape right there so but that's it for now so uh, if I if I go after this thing and reshape it the steel is a little bit thin on this guy I think it could be just a little thicker uh, I think they made the hair too thin it wouldn't have bent so easy you know also I don't know yeah, a little thicker would have been better. But for now, that's all I'm going to do. I'll come back and show you if I do anything else to it. Have a nice day.